funny how you make plans to do this and do that and have a long list of things to do and your day unfolds and it's now it's almost the end of the day and nothing I planned on doing was accomplished. That's how busy it was today. Welcome back to my channel, Linda's daughter Donna. I am off to trying to get some things done. I'm going to do a little bit of self-love. Now you see me in another, hmm, I'm going to say it's going to be about a three hour time lapse. And the next time you see me, there should be a little bit of improvement. I also have to run into the stores because it is gift giving time and I have to run to get a couple of toys, I'm going to say a few toys uh, to contribute to the toy drive giveaway at my job and also to participate in the adopt a child at my church. And the theme of my day is to make sure I set goals and I accomplish my goals. And what I promise to do, I have to do. And I'm also going to still stay within budget. So come shopping with me. look out for some time to go by to see the little bit of self-love is that what we're calling it these days I'm not sure what's going on with the weather I was driving and for like a good five minutes of my driving the skies looked like it was getting dark and the just looked a bit gloomy god why am i struggling for words and now i'm in another area and i'm seeing the sun actually for the first time today i ought to check the weather report because if there is any chance of rain i'm gonna have to have an umbrella i will need an umbrella the worst feeling is to be wet and cold. Not a great feeling. So let me check the weather. Okay, so it's definitely going to rain I don't know what time and how long my little my two other stops are gonna take but I'm going to have my umbrella in hand because today this girl cannot get wet at all I have not been listening to a lot of Christmas carols like I like to. I guess I don't automatically turn my car radio on when I get in the car, especially if I am recording a video because I really have to make sure I don't get slapped with a copyright infringement. So I guess when I'm in the car, I'm gonna have to sing to myself. Alrighty, I'm off to my other stop and let's hope this place is open for business. <laughs> Blue shampoo. <laughs> Blue shampoo added to my hair to whiten my gray. I've never had that done before. Let's see how that turns out. I did not know my gray hair needed whitening. Okay. 
So what do you think? I think this is much better. Although I just had an experience that I did not like in that salon, but nevertheless, my hair is done. Looks pretty decent. And hopefully I'll be able to maintain this. Where's that glare coming from? Yeah, I like. I like very much. Okay, stop number three coming up. It's very difficult to sit for an hour and a half listening to conversations. Let me fix that. Hearing conversations, loud conversations that's going up and down in, with inflections. Inflections, I think that's what you call them. In another language, and I'm not gonna say the language, but it's downright rude. <laughs> it's really rude. Especially when people are working in, working on your head and they're trying to tell you the different things that they're doing now to your head that has never been done to your head before and you really can't see what's going on above your head you can't see I don't even know if I, my hair got a conditioner just now I don't know all of a sudden I'm being told I need three shampoos and one is a shampoo to brighten my gray hair I don't want my gray hair brightened they're coming in. I want them, I just want my hair to be clean. That's all. That's all. I don't have a full head of gray hair. I was annoyed just now because I don't know, I'm in, being introduced to something new and I'm being t told I have to sit there for a few minutes with this new shampoo never used in my hair before for several minutes god no i don't want that i'm i'm sorry because i've been coming to this salon for years and my gray hair didn't just come in yesterday or last week or last year my hair has been growing for several years now. I was really just a little bit annoyed. It's the season to be jolly. I want to be jolly. Anyhow, shake it off. Let me shake that off. Now, all right, back to my happy jolly self. It's not the best time of the day to be on this particular highway because people are going home traffic is building up but I don't have a choice I have to be out here because tomorrow I have to deliver toys on my job I do so I need to go get this done and I was hoping that somebody would have already contacted me to tell me if I'm getting um, toys for a boy or girl for the other place yeah that that just left me a little bit annoyed now i feel like i should have some iced coffee or some drink or the other to make me feel good and i mean i'm not I'm talking about alcoholic beverage now i'm talking about hot cocoa i love hot cocoa but I like making hot cocoa at home because when I make it at home, I judge it up so it tastes pretty close to the hot cocoa. Or, what do you call it now? Let's see. Hot chocolate or cocoa tea that my grandmother used to make. Yes, we call it cocoa tea. 
I don't drink coffee tea. I drink coffee. I don't drink Milo tea. I drink Milo. It's been a long time since I had Milo. But yes, cocoa tea. Just kidding. Hot cocoa. I like making my hot cocoa with cinnamon and nutmeg and a little bit of vanilla. Oh, so delicious. And I'm really not supposed to be sweetening it anymore with condensed milk. But you have to put a little chooks in it to really bring up the flavor. So that's really what I'm feeling for right now, some hot cocoa. Let me pay attention to driving and get to my next destination. All right, this could be the globe for Saya. Let me go around the other side and see if they have another one. Oh man. All right, I'll keep looking. I said I was done yesterday, but I really, oh, let's see, these are big, yeah, gold ornaments, that's the one that I want, yeah, I'll get that and be done, definitely done, let's see, I don't think I want anything, get those giant giant gloves but or not yeah the really huge ornaments but I don't see any okay I'm searching for a red dress a festive red dress none of these really Floating my boat. That's nice, but that's not like my style. I am done. I got two Princess Disney dolls, um, or Disney Princess dolls, uh, for a little girl. And I got a construction truck for a little boy. So that takes care of the toys that are needed for tomorrow. And I got my last bit of oversized, well, this is not oversized, but the gold bulbs and bigger than the ones that I have on my tree right now. So I'm done with that. And I got what I was searching for yesterday. A tw I think this is a tw 12 quarts mixing bowl, stainless steel. I needed this. So I'm all set. I've been on the road long enough and listen, I am going to go home and put my feet up for a little bit. I am so glad you st stuck with me today. Thanks for watching this video. Give a thumbs up to this video, please. Uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel and share this video. For now, 
have a really good evening and walk good.